What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I literally just woke up from a nap. It is the weekend and I am ready to make this video. I'm super, super excited on making this video because it's something that is either gonna get a lot of love or get a lot of hate. We're gonna be changing the wheel setup on this car again. Um, I know I do go through a lot of wheel setups for this car and you guys know I've been through a lot, a lot of different styles and different looks on this car. And currently right now you're looking at a kind of a full spoon look. You got the lip, uh, hood, mirrors, wing, wheels, lug nuts, calipers from the outside, and some goodies in the engine bay. But we're gonna be changing that up today. Well, not really today. I still have to wait for the parts to arrive to get these to work. And I already tested these wheels, but I didn't make a video because it was during the day and I had people over. So we're gonna do a video of me testing these right now. Spoiler alert, these are it. I already took photos and threw them on my Instagram because uh, I was super excited. And now I just want to make a video explaining how I'm going to make these fit on my hatch. Now they are super concave compared to these ones right here. These are 16 by 8 plus 30. These have, these have a mild concave. You could barely see them, but they are slightly concave. These are actually gonna be from our rears. These fit the rears with no issues. I don't have to do any modifications. Just add a little bit more camber. I'm gonna be running a 215.45 like this right here on there, which is the same tire setup I was using on my C28s and they fit perfectly. I know these TEs fit perfectly fine. My front setup is actually my camera and everything is all adjusted to fit 16 by 8 plus 28 with a 215.45 uh, C28s but we're gonna be changing that up uh, pretty soon. I really, really want to not run any more camera on these, cause these, oh here, let me, um... this was a... let me just put these uh, close together. Bam, yes, you can see, these are 16s, which are ideal for EKs, 15s and 16s. Um, there's actually a couple cars out there running 17s, um, and I've seen them in person. Uh, one is you have the Battlecraft EK, he's running 17s in the front. You have a couple cars up out in Japan, Car Make Across, running 17s in the front. Really, really aggressive setups. And there's a lot of dudes up in, uh, I think there's an, there's an Integra up in Seattle, 12-1K Ron. He has 17 C28 on his Integra, which is by far like one of the best looking Integras on Seattle. We're gonna be making these work on my car. These are 16 by eight plus 30. These are 17 by nine plus 15. You guys can kinda see, these are a one inch wider. And these are, I'm not too sure how they came out with these specs. I think they're GTR specs, I'm not too positive because the Regmasters that come in GTR sizing is 17 by 9 plus 18. So this is pretty close. This is just three millimeters different from the Regmasters. And we're gonna be uh, throwing these on the car um, and show you guys uh, how they sit. On the Instagram photos I posted, you don't really see how wide they actually are. You can tell by just looking at, you know, the the faces, because a lot of the, um, in order to get this type of concave, you, add, you have to get a low offset T37, or a wide with a slightly high offset, I believe, like a 10 or something. It's weird, and I found these on, was it, on offer up, so I decided to take the gamble and pick them up. Now, I'm actually really, really happy to put these on the car. And uh, what I said from the beginning is, why I'm gonna get a lot of love and hate for this video. A lot of people love what I'm doing. A lot of people hate it because they're like, do your car stock? Why do you need this big ass wheel with a wide ass tire that's, you know, not for the track or anything? Now, I never said that this car was a track car, okay? We're trying to cruise this car and look fucking badass. Nothing does it, dude, like, you guys don't understand, like, cruising that street with all your homies, you know, like, all just going to cruise and shit, looking all sick ass Hondas just passing by you especially just like all different types of styles. Like that's just sick, dude. Like, you guys are missing out. But anyways, so we're gonna throw these on the car real quick. And they are not perfect, by the way. 
This one has a rash on it. That one has like one nick on it, but I'm not tripping because I'm actually kind of glad they got a rash. Because these bronze TEs, if you guys owned bronze TEs before, anodized bronze, a lot of stuff sticks to them. But luckily, surprisingly, this one has like a little bit, but I could get it out. I'm using the clay bar, but having bronze TEs in general, since the faces are anodized, they get stained so easy. So I'm kind of glad that like I don't have to, you know, take care or take too much care of these wheels. And I got them for cheap, so um, can't complain. And I don't really see this sizing too often for sale, especially up here, which is perfect because out of here is those. Where it's got the Reg Masters, uh, throw some wooden blocks underneath and drop the car down on the T37s. Uh, these are sick. And a lot of people run 17s on K swap track cars. But like I said, this is a track car, which is trying to make this shit look good. And nothing beats a good looking car, right? With uh, some cool ass wheels. We're just gonna use the BB jack today. surprised at how uh, clean these are because these are actually made in uh, I think 2006 and a lot of bronze seas people don't take care of them so they uh they just like come out like this kind of but this is the inner barrel yeah can you see that 17 by 9 plus 15 they're manufactured in 2006 um, I checked the other one already. They're made in the same year, so I think these are off of the same set. And god damn, look at that hub. Holy shit. God damn. I swear, T's have the nicest concave. Same with C28s, but Volks got down on their concave game, especially for the wider and bigger size wheels. That's the reason why I, I love the 17s and 18s and 19s, especially the really wide ones, because you can't get this on a like a 16. Actually, I think it can. I think Galaxy 6 has a set of 16 by 9 plus 15 C28. So, but C28 concaves are different than T's. Damn, these look good. Wow. And at any angle, you can just see the concave. Okay, I'm just like procrastinating. These are spoon lug nuts. The only thing I hate is since they're like new, and I don't want them to like chip. I stop using my impact on my lug nuts, which is a downside, but it's all good because I don't think we're gonna be using these on the tees. We're gonna be using uh, my old uh, Jay's Racing lug nuts. enough take them all out one by one i used to do this back in the day when i had like i think uh project kick r40s they're really nice like they're like my first expensive lug nuts back in the day bang bang, bang. now you guys are about to see how wide these things are makes my uh calipers look so tiny my trusty old lug nuts these are actually uh i guess you see that Nope. Come on, camera. What's up with you, camera? Oh, well. Anyways, these are Jay's Lug Nuts. I got these from my uh, Japan trip. Holy crap. This is uh, before I lower the car because when you normally drop the car I was going to add camera by itself. And um, the other reason why I chose this offset is because running wider wheels on EKs, you're the back inner barrel. Um, the inner barrel right here could actually hit the um, your knuckles on EKs. I've test fitted 17 by 9 plus 35 inky pfo ones a while back and they clear perfectly fine with a higher offset. Um, these are plus 15 so there's a lot of clearance behind there which is good because it allowed me to turn without hitting the um, inner sidewall because the offset is a lot lower which is uh, one thing I wanted because full lock with a wire tire on these cars you will rub. 
I think on my old Regmaster 16 by 7 plus 35, 4 by 100, I had a 225 45 R88Rs on them. And when I full lock them, it'll hit the, uh, what's it called? The inner, uh, you know, inner firewall. What the hell do you call it? Firewall, wheel well. Oh, there you go. So, let's drop this thing down. Let's grab uh, two blocks of wood. Put the lighter in the wheel, make sure it's centered. With the wheel, because we ain't trying to have the shit slip off. Okay, I think that's good. Slowly go down. Make sure it's centered still when you drop it down. Look at that, boys. So, from the side view, it, it looks like it actually fits, which is how I take the photos on my Instagram. But in reality, it's sitting, I believe, a whole inch out. And um, running a tire on this wheel will probably make it stick out a little bit more too, depending on how wide it goes. So. My plan too is I was actually aiming for 235-45-17s or 245-40-17s which I know for a fact could fit a 245 in there but only downside is Falcon doesn't make a Falcon is any in a 245-40 I believe I was talking with Steve and you guys didn't know I'm sponsored by Falcon so we're throwing Falcons on these Two shots to Steve really really appreciate it and we're gonna run his any's pretty much on all the cars so I think a 245 he doesn't make, or a Zenny's they don't make them, so I have to run a 235-40, which uh, will sit perfectly with the wheel. And I actually had some friends that, uh, that have them on nines, so I asked them to send me photos of what it looks like on the side profile, because I'm not trying to have a stretch. I want to have a, you know, like a completely flat sidewall. And the 235-40 have a slight, you can see the slight, uh, like there's a slight, you can see that there's a slight, um, arch in the tires because I think a 245 on a 9 is completely flat so a 235 is going to have a slightly uh, you know a little looking stretch I need new fenders so I didn't I wanted to get away with using the OEM fenders but at the right height I want to sit at which is ideally right here um, that is the right height I want I don't want to raise my car so the only way I could get these to fit with the 235-40 at this ride height is getting different fenders. I've been looking, um, looking around and shopping, so I did buy some new fenders. I don't know when they're gonna be here because there's no, that's the side I bought off, it doesn't say if it's in stock or anything, they just let you, they just let you buy it. But there are a couple of people that I've seen that are running that fender. I went ahead and placed my order on the fenders. Hopefully I get within a week or something, I, I don't know but uh it depends and i didn't want to go with jay's fenders because if you guys know jay's racing fenders or all the body panel parts minus their wing and their hood they all fit so bad jay's have really bad quality like really bad fitment quality i believe icb motorsports doesn't even sell them anymore because of the fitment issues that a lot of people have with them i had jay's fenders a while ago not actually not a while ago like two three years ago and they feel like shit so we're not doing those fenders, we're getting something else. And I kinda wanna keep the OEM body line. Uh, so, yeah. We're not running a stretch in these boys. I want to keep the, you know, the OEM fender look, but a lot of companies now, they have vents and stuff, so I found a different fender where it actually extends out. And uh, I believe it's gonna be a lot wider than what this is, cause the new fenders I'm picking up are at roughly, I think 40 to 50 millimeters. And this right here is roughly an inch and an inch is 25 millimeters. So it's gonna give, the fender is gonna arch over these, but it'll be perfect because it's gonna allow me to turn at this ride height, running a 235, especially on such a wide wheel. I'm mainly waiting for those fenders to come in so I could, you know, slap them on and uh, see, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and order the tires from Falcon and get, get them on the wheels. The rears I'm not too worried about because I know these will fit. The only thing that bugs me is that these are black. 
and these are bronze. You can never go wrong with bronze. You guys know that. I bought this uh, pair from Yahoo Auctions. So I think I'm gonna wait till a pair of bronze 60 by 8 plus 30 Phyla comes up. And if they're a good deal, I will buy them so we can run a full bronze set again. I do miss having bronze wheels. Uh, I miss my C28. Yep, that is what I'm aiming for. They look really big, but I might... No, actually, I think if I was running the SR lip on this car right now, it wouldn't look right. But since I'm running the spool lip, since the spool lip's so fat and how low it sits, perfectly fine. Oh, and another reason why I bought new fenders is because I don't want to... Well, I know for a fact is they're going to buckle with this setup, especially at this right eye. I don't want to adjust my camera settings because he said this... Uh, current setting set up for my Rega Masters or my CEs and everything. So what I'm gonna do is get those fenders, leave this as is. So if I do want to switch over back to the Rega Masters or any other 16x7, 16x8 wheel, all I do is take out those wide fenders, put these only fenders back on, and just throw the wheel on and I'll sit how it's sitting on this side without me having to always adjust my camera settings in my right height. That's uh, another reason. Big, but we're gonna make them work, boys. I'm trying to get this setup done for Eibach. Uh Eibach has been announced. It's gonna be on April 26th, I believe. And this car is gonna be at the Falcon booth. So I'm gonna have this new aggressive wheel setup and hopefully my rears by then. If anything, I'll just do this. Or just throw the black tees in the back. So this car will be at the Falcon booth and it's gonna be Super cool. Um, I always walk by the fucking booth and be like, dude, this setup with the freaking trailer and everything is so sick. Especially last year with Steve's car on the lift at Eibach. So I'll be at Eibach, this car will be at the fucking booth, and praying to God that I get those fenders by then. And of course, the rears. Love it, hate it. I'm really excited to try the setup because I've never done anything this crazy. Well, this isn't really crazy, but anything like this, running 17 by nines. I know nines could fit on EKs, like, like nothing and tens. I ran seven, 15 by nines, but they're 15s and they had a stretch on it though. Back in my stance days. I think if I had a 17 by nine plus 35, the wheels will fit without me, or the wheels will fit with the OEM fenders for sure. I'm just gonna have to add more camera, but we're just gonna get those wider fenders so we can sit low. I wanna tuck like half the tire since these are 17s. Stay tuned guys. I can't wait actually. Yes guys, a bit of me not working my car. Just put on a wheel. Don't let others just keep voting. Do whatever the fuck you wanna do. Because this is on a, I can't wait. This is gonna come out pretty sick. Uh, I can already see it. Well, I don't have the fender yet, but I can already see it. So peace out guys. Have a good day.